Hello everyone, today we are going to have a look at how we can build a small gesture based project based on Arduino Nano. So I have a small controller. Okay, so this is Arduino Nano. As you can see, it's very tiny, having almost uh, the same features uh, that our Arduino general form factor can support. And basically there are two variants in this one is 3.3 volt and other is 5 volts uh, we need to uh, properly check whether this is a 5 volt board or a 3 volt board as you can see here it supports 5 volt currently there are two versions available so one is go uh, I mean one of the pins of this particular board is supporting 5 volts hence uh, you can clearly say that uh, in most of the cases this is going to be working on a 5 volt so this is the main board the controller which we are going to program with the help of uh, this cable it is provided along uh, I mean it is provided usually as a package so that's one thing we have a ribbon cable it's a set of uh, 12 cables basically which uh, also shows the color codes of a resistor this kind of wire is going to be really handy in determining uh, the color codes of a resistor so i have uh, a set of 30 kilo ohms and 10 kilo ohm resistors and along with that i also have a one kilo ohm resistors which i can connect with these leds if i need it so let's keep it aside and the reason why i have selected uh, this particular resistor to be 30k is because these are the flex sensors that i'll be mounting on the fingers so that whenever we bend it it is going to recognize a, a gesture so with the help of the bend that we can actually create with the help of these fingers we can uh, lay down a map or we can generate a truth table based on the flex sensors and the number of combinations that we can form with the help of the available flex sensors so as of now currently i'm having five flex sensors for five fingers but uh, let us first of all try to code uh, this Arduino nano and try to interface it in such a way that uh, as soon as we bend this flex sensor let us try to first of all read what changes this Arduino nano is able to read uh, or scan and then we are going to interface the rest of the sensors. So what I'm thinking is currently these are going to produce a analog output as I'm already aware. And I have measured this with the help of a multimeter and I found that the value when these are not bent, I mean when, when these sensors are actually kept flat like this, it reads near about 30 kilo ohms. And that is the reason why I have taken one more 30 kilo ohm resistor and I'm going to put them both in a voltage divider form so as to pick up the center value which will be directly fed to the analog pin of our Arduino Nano and on the other hand whenever I bend it to near about uh, say to almost to look the shape like a U shape or like a C uh, it reads about 19 kilo ohms Okay, so before uh, heading towards the actual connections, it is very important for anyone to first of all get a flex sensor, measure the steady state values, and then uh, also measure what value it reads when you actually bend. And along with this, uh, we may interface either three or four depending upon the requirement. Let's keep them aside. Now, along with this, I also have A sensor that I have selected so basically there are two alternatives for this one I hope you can see okay so this is basically uh, a sensor which is known as an accelerometer so this is an ADXL 335 as you can see it's written here 
uh, you can even go through the data sheet to identify the reason why I have selected this particular accelerometer is that we have separate analog values. Like as you can see, it, it has got five pins, basically starting with VCC, then it has X out, Y out, Z out, and then it also has the ground pin. So it becomes easy for us to directly take up the values. On the other hand, we have a similar accelerometer cum gyroscope, uh, a cum gyroscope which is uh, having the ID of MPU 6050. So if you are about to save some of the pins on your Arduino Nano, for example, if I want to interface a couple of these sensors all together. So currently the problem I'll be facing is all these five are analog sensors and even these three output pins that I'm having are also analog pins or analog output signals. So these three signals along with these five, totally eight analog pins I would need. But as you can see here, we just have A0 to A7. Okay, so currently we're having eight analog pins. So the beauty of analog uh, pins on Arduino Nano are uh, like eight. So if you are going with a normal Arduino, then probably we have the range of our analog pins to be only six, that is A0 to A5. But on the Arduino Nano, we have eight pins. So even though I have eight analog signals that I need to interface, I don't have any problem. But on the other hand, if you're using uh, another form factor Arduino, um, which is uh, of the usual size that supports only six analog pins then under those cases we may skip the z-axis and we may even skip one of these flex sensors and then you can interface the rest of the pins so i'll be powering it through uh, the dc power cable directly and not only that but we'll be moving further and interfacing this Arduino Nano with uh, the serial port. So there is going to be a serial interface between this Arduino Nano and the Bluetooth chip. Currently this chip is identified by the IDHC05 uh, which as you can see again has the serial interface and it supports 3.3 level. So you need to be very careful that is uh, the power is mentioned to be Okay. if I focus a little bit so it reads that the power is in the range of 3.6 to 6 volts but the RX and TX levels are at 3.3 volts so we'll have to first of all check whether these two are directly compatible or not so one of the major mistakes that usually every beginner does in electronics while interfacing sensors is that you take a 5 volt microcontroller like this one and you try to interface it with uh, another device which basically works at 3.3 volt and if you try to directly interface it by a cross combination of the serial uh, terminals then probably you're going to burn up your controllers uh, one of the serial terminals so if for instance this is giving me a 5 volt transmission signal which is directly connected to the receiving signal of my bluetooth chip then probably you're going to burn out your bluetooth chips receiver terminal so you need to be really careful and before heading towards the actual interface connections uh, it is always an important advice for everyone to go through the data sheets identify the power levels and then go with the interfacing connections so we also have a couple of bug strips which were actually provided with this uh, ADXL chip but we don't need it. We are going to directly solder them all together uh, with the help of this ribbon wire. So what I'm planning is anyways uh, I was thinking that we just have six analog pins but I was not uh, aware that I'll be getting this Arduino Nano but since I have this in the pack available I need not to worry about how many flex sensors I need to interface. So currently what I'm planning is this is what we're going to build. So you can imagine like these are the four fingers and this is the fifth finger. And I'll be placing this Arduino Nano, the Bluetooth chip, as well as the MPU 
sorry this is not mpu but this is adxl uh, all together and i'll be mounting it in such a way that i have one of the power connections connected and i may operate this on a battery uh, i mean a double a cell that is uh, nickel manganese uh, 1.5 cells having four in combinations totally uh, i'll be getting six volt that would be enough to power this board as well as the rest of the sensors and the circuits so i'll be providing two alternatives to power up the circuit and ultimately we're going to uh, encapsulate this entire circuit uh, on a globe so that whenever i have my hand tilted vertically or horizontally this sensor is going to sense it and it is going to send a proper signal to this microcontroller which will not only uh, capture the signals or the status of these flex sensors and that will transmit those signals through this hc05 bluetooth kit to any of the cell phone okay you can directly interface it with any of the cell phone and you can install an android app uh, similar to bluetooth terminal which gives you the ability to directly connect with these kind of hc05 kits and you would be able to read whatever signals that this is transmitting on your cell phone directly so that's all for part one you can uh, watch the connections and the coding and how we are going to construct the rest of the things along with the interfacing diagrams and a couple of introduction with the data sheet in our part two of the video if you like the video please like share and comment and also uh, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon.